Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, we are in in the gym, and yes, that is a kegerator behind me in the gym. You never know. Anyways, uh, today uh, I want to answer a couple questions um, from some of our actual in house members, uh, but this uh, I want you guys to hear this uh, out there too. Maybe you can do this in your gym uh, as a way to help motivate your clients and motivate it. You'll see what I mean. So when we write out workouts for our clients, you know, obviously we're taking into consideration what they want, what they need, how they move, weaknesses, if they're training for a sport or if they're just trying to lose weight, whatever the goal is, you know, we make it specific for them. Sometimes, you know, they just, I just want to get stronger. I just want to get healthier. Or sometimes they've been working with us for a while and they've, they've achieved a, a level of, you know, physical fitness in terms of like, you know, strength or endurance or, you know, whatever their goal is. Uh, whether they've wanted to do a 5k or a powerlifting meet or, you know, anything like that, maybe they don't want to do any of those kind of things, but we've always talked about in our goal setting, one of the best ways to help get someone going is to have that, um, that activity goal where we want to pick an activity that I can, uh, program towards, or at least give some ideas or get, pardon me, give some direction towards the programming so we can look two months ahead, three months ahead, whatever the case may be, and we know that we're gonna be working towards something. It just it just helps, and um, again, it doesn't always have to be like a, a sanctioned, structured event, you know, in the community. It could just be, hey, I wanna try for, you know, a max bench press, you know, we can plan for that, train for that, and go for it. Um, it could be a lot of different things, but sometimes, you know, just strength is one thing, but, you know, we wanna, we wanna challenge our clients. We wanna really, uh, achieve our, or we want our clients to achieve, you know, really good results, especially once they've been here a while, they've gotten some level of physicality. Now what? Now I want to take it to that next level, right? What do we do? Well, <clears throat> several years back. So this is not an original idea and I will give full credit, uh, to John Schaefer, AKA Johnny Payne, um, uh, OG strength villain. Uh, he, he would he issued some challenges i think he had five challenges for his his um uh clientele and uh, i've lifted a couple of those because i they're awesome but then i've come up with a few of my own but i loved the idea and this this is a simple idea um so one of the ideas or one of the challenges is a hundred burpees in five minutes so that that is one that 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 uh johnny payne uh used to do and uh or used to put out there and that was one of my favorites just because at that time i was working in a gym with very limited equipment so i did a lot of burpees i did a lot of body weight stuff and that one just screamed at me and uh took took a few tries but we get there that's one burpee every three seconds now you might be thinking that's impossible why would i just randomly have my clients do that well i don't necessarily just say hey you know uh today we're going to work towards doing 100 burpees uh in five minutes it's more about the journey, right? The process. Think about, you know, what it means, what it would mean physically to be able to do a hundred burpees in five minutes, one every three seconds. So if I gave you that assignment that we're going to test you and let's say you test it like 45, you know, okay. Okay. So I've still, still have a lot of burpees to go to get there. So I train, I do burpees. I, I implement burpees as a conditioning tool in my program on, you know, lifting days or power days or whatever heavy lifting days. The thought is I can incorporate that into it because think about what a person's physique looks like who can do 50 or pardon me, a hundred burpees in five minutes. Generally speaking, it's a, you're going to burn a lot of calories doing all those burpees. You're going to develop a lot of core strength and a lot of uh, coordination and stability and power if doing it right. That body's going to look a certain way and generally a favorable way, right? Uh, and the idea would be if I'm trying to put out uh, a challenge to a client, I think about, you know, it's not just, man, it'd be cool to walk around and say, I could do a hundred burpees in five minutes. Some people may not. Is that hard? I don't know. Is that good? I, I don't know. Most people in the know would know, but for you, it's more about having that mental picture. If I work towards this goal, I have a mental picture of what someone looks like who can do that. I think of someone who's lean spry, you know, has a lot of, um, you know, pep in their step, so to speak, like they're, they're just springy and, 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 and agile, uh, but a very athletic 
feel and look to their body. And a lot of times that's what our clients want, right? So that's a one good way. Uh, another thing, another another challenge that, that you know, we, we put out there uh, is doing a body weight carry. So put your body weight on a barbell, uh, in this case a trap bar or, or dumbbells. Uh, we usually use the trap bar. Um, and we carry it 300 feet without putting it down. Now, it's not that's not necessarily one of the hardest goals to achieve. A lot of people could probably do that right up front. Um, but what it does is it, obviously it's a grip challenge, just from the lift itself, but it's gonna force us, again, to work in concert with each other. Uh, very good uh, central nervous system stressor. Uh, it's just, you know, carries are great. We know what the benefits of carries are. So if we're doing carries a lot, we're gonna have a lot of carryover, pun intended, uh, to other lifts. It's a very transferable uh, um, movement. And so we add those in. So the thought is with all of our challenges, um, they're not just to, you know, say, oh, you're super, you know, uh, super awesome if you can do all of these things or totally badass if you can do all of these things. It's more about uh, they look hard. You're like, some of these, you're like, no way I can do that. Right, you probably can. That's why it's a challenge, and we want to work for it, and we'll help program you to get there. We we can pick you know pick one off the list and try it, or we can say I want you to take um, uh, take a look at the board, and if there's something that jumps out at you, maybe not today, but maybe you know six months from now, and you're like I, I really want to go for that one. Um, we can put that into the programming in the appropriate place. But then then when they check off on it or when they do it, you know we have a big celebration. Uh, we have a t-shirt here that, uh, if you can do all of the challenge, you get, you get the free t-shirt and you can wear it around. It's pretty cool. Right. But the idea again is about giving them something to work towards. And not only that, these specific ones, you know, you, I can't talk, generally utilize, um, tenants that we do, uh, in here in the gym, you know, we train athletes primarily. And so getting people to jump further, jump higher, run faster, uh, cut better, you know, speed, power, agility, endurance, those things, most of the challenges focus on that. So we've got squatting your body weight for 40 re unbroken reps. So put your body weight on the bar. So in my case, about 210, 205, 210, squat it 40 times. Um, <clears throat> I said the body weight carry. So I put 210 on the bar, carry it for 300 feet. Push the sled. Um, with 135 pounds on it, push the sled uh, uh, 600 feet in le in three minutes or less. That 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 one's again. It's not maybe not doable the first time you try it, but it's it's not a, a, a major goal or a major uh, crusher um, in terms of it doesn't take a long time to get there. But it it will it'll it'll surprise you. Um, got 10 full rollouts on your feet on a barbell or a, or an ab wheel, however you want to do it. Uh, 10 full prone rollouts. That's the one I'm going to be working on. That's something I can't do right now and I want to be able to do. Um, 10 pull ups uh, with a um, 25 pound uh, uh, plate uh, on the on the on the dip belt. Um, a five minute plank running a mile in less than 630. Uh, standing broad jump of six and a half feet if you're a female, eight feet if you're a male. Um, and yeah, that's it. So a lot of those test different things. None of them are unreachable, but they all give you some kind of tangible, you know, uh, thing to look for or not look for, but to work towards. Um, and that all culminates with what we call the total, um, uh, or the ultimate, pardon me, the ultimate challenge, the UPP ultimate challenge. And what that is, is a powerlifting total for males, 1100 females, 650. Uh, right into so you do you do your power lifting total boom 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 under we'll say under an hour you get an hour to do that then right into like as soon as you do your last your deadlift as soon as the bar hits time starts on a mile uh, or pardon me not a mile a 5k under 24 minutes so eight minute mile so uh, pretty challenging you know especially when you do all that stuff your legs are dead but at the same time it's a uh, it, it, it's one of those things where I've always, like you've heard me say before on the podcast, if you listen, I want to be able to walk around with a certain base of strength. Like any day, like just, hey, Pete, come here. We're going to do a surprise powerlifting meet. You got a total a, a thousand pounds or whatever. And that thousand pounds was always from years back, kind of my, 
my gauge. If I'm still doing okay, you know, if I get off my lifting program for a little while, life gets in the way. As long as I can always total a thousand pounds, I've always felt pretty good, right? Like I've got some some base length, base level strength. Now, there have been plenty of times where I could way outdo that. There's been times in my career where you know life gets in the way. I wasn't lifting as much, and maybe a thousand would be a challenge. So for this, we're going to say 1100 um, for the men. Uh, 650 for the women and then try to run a sub 24 5k immediately after the deadlift and uh, you know I've been practicing you know just doing various uh, uh, um, adaptations that uh, oh, your legs just feel jello but it's a the thing again looking back to the, the burpee example what does someone you know having that strength and the power you know the musculature to you know power lift 1100 pounds but then also having the you know capacity to go run a 24 uh, minute 5k seems pretty cool but it, and they still all fit within the tenets of things that we teach and coach here so again just some fun challenges just a way to to, to have something fun on your board I'll, I'll show you a picture of, of our board uh, where we post it so everyone sees it every day and you know it gets people asking what's that about then you can explain the, the journey and the process and they understand that we're not just saying, yeah, you got to be able to do all that, you know, to work out here. You know, it's not, it's not a uh, initiation kind of thing. It's more of a, you know, these are things to just really push yourself and really challenge yourself. Some people like doing one of them. Some people want to try them all. Um, you know, they're fun. It's a good way to to interject some sort of activity based goal to work towards. You know, if your clients come in and say, I just want to lose a little bit of weight and get a little stronger. Okay, fine. Let's uh, let's put it to the test, right? We've got you a little stronger. We've got you a little leaner. Let's see what you got now, right? All right. I think it's fun. Um, again, I'll post uh, I'll post a picture of it on our wall uh, and uh, let you guys check it out, and we'll go from there. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video, if you found it helpful or interesting or anything like that. If you ever find our content uh, gave you an idea, spurred some kind of creativity please hit that subscribe and the notification bell. It really does help us to grow the channel. We're a brand new channel. Um, we've got a lot to say and a lot of good information uh, that I want to try to get out to you guys. Um, and I'm, I'm re really excited to do it and it'd mean a lot to me, mean a lot to Chelsea, and we'd appreciate it.